Hello everybody. This is the right mango again. Come for talk the things them. Tell it like it is. Earth up on the head because as usual on a not green like what I have to say. Now you know my plan to do this video from morning but I've been so depressed. Christmas morning. 20 year old Rashawn Moore from Anata Bay was stabbed to death in Ocherius after Grand Market. I put a video on my page. I'm going to put the video in this link so you can go through it. But Rashawn was 20 years old. He got in an altercation with him and his brother with some other boys and one of those boys stabbed him several times and based on what the video on the video that I saw and you can look you'll see the video I, I'm gonna post the video in the comments but based on the video he ran for a while until he collapsed but you know what hurt my heart people this boy run go in at the town, in at the heart of Ochi. It looked to me like it was near near the gas station at the corner of Evelyn Street. It been, yeah, like in that vicinity. And one taxi man go as far as to tell the youth for not in MKR, come out to MKR. Everybody stood there on Christmas morning, no less, and watched that 20 year old youth bleed to death. His brother beside him, bawling him eye out, asking for somebody, anybody for help. And you had one person, the video that I got was somebody who ran behind him with the camera and videotaped the whole thing, and everybody stand up and watch the youth bleed out. My blood run cold. My blood run cold. I have an 18 year old. I think I said that like on almost every friggin' video I do. That I have OCD where my kids are concerned. And I show, you know, I show him the video and I say, yo. You see, when you say your mother paranoid, these are the reasons that I'm paranoid because they will kill you and watch you die. Then we, then we do you something on the road and everybody will stand up and watch you dead. Watch you die in Jamaica with a video, with a phone over you, videotaping you dying. Right? And then when I come out and talk the things them and telling us that Jamaica is no paradise, it is not a bed of roses, you all in denial, walking around and bashing me for talking the goddamn truth. How could people stand and watch a 20 year old baby bleed to death in this year, Jamaica land we love? And then in the act like Jamaica is perfect and everywhere else is a, every, every, everywhere else is have a problem but Jamaica, oh, Jamaica is no worse than anywhere else it is. It is. It's worse. It's worse. Because when me have a mother, as a mother of a young, young man, and I consider the Jamaican male between the ages of 17 and 25 and an endangered species, right? My friend, my son had had to had, had to see his friend get buried last year. A friend that walked from him house round to one shop and get shot in him head. Right? And it's not in no inner city, it's not in no ghetto for all of y'all where wanna boast about oh DJ Khaled come here and Drake come here and all the yachts came here. Yeah. But on the other side of Jamaica people are dead people dying in the streets on Christmas morning as I do this video Papin is cordoned off because them shot a man dead in Papin right and apart from shooting a man in Papin this morning them kill a man them kill two men in, in Cana Heights in Clarendon and by the time the year done we'll be at well over 1,300 murders, probably about 1,400 murder for the year. States of emergency and all. And yet when I post on my page that New York City has gone for six days, one week now, without one single murder, hmm, how can Jamaica copy that? Everybody jumping down my throat, oh, 
You can't compare Jamaica to, 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 to New York. Like, seriously? New York went one entire week without a murder. Jamaica is worse than a war zone. You know, for a country to declare like in civil war, one of the criteria has to be a murder rate of 30 or more per 100,000. Jamaica's murder rate so far for this year is over 60 per 100,000. So we double it. And y'all acting like Jamaica is perfect. You're in denial, right? When we tell returning residents, don't come here because we don't leave what the Jamaica we want to leave is not the same Jamaica. We don't class me. Tell me how me ugly. How many need for come me here. Yes, that's fine. Me not look nobody. Me, me, me done look people already. Me done have me Listen, I'm not no young chick, so I don't want to hear it. Right? I don't want to hear it. I've been where I need to, to be. Me got big picnic now. My good. Where that is concerned. I'm just, I'm just frightened for my children. As the mother of three Jamaican young people. I don't think there is any future right here for them. Because Jamaica are going bad. And I live here so I can talk. I'm going to notice that most of the people who have an issue with what I'm talking about don't live here. Most of the people, you, you left here, you leave here and go and look a better life in another country, you know? right? If you love Jamaica so much, why you never stay here? And I don't grudge you. Because me, if, I don't blame you. Because as soon as I can get my kids out of here, me and move, me, I'm leave, they, they got to go. So I don't, I don't grudge you. I don't blame you for leaving. But then don't look at me and tell me not to act like Jamaica is a bed of roses. Because you run left it. Right? And the most, and that's the most of you who've been cussing me. Because I keep saying, I keep pointing to the truth. And I watch a child. Because in my eyes, a 20 year old is still a child. I could have been his mommy right i could have been that baby's mother 20 years old my child is much younger than that and i saw when i saw that missy lord my heart break for your mother my heart literally rip up for your mother imagine what that child's mother is going through in brother in brother when they, he died in his brother's arms Jamaica, 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 we, we, we have problems, Jamaica, we have problems, we have issues, we have big, big problems, we have big problems, and not one of you, you can politicize this as much as you want to, but not one of you can make me stop talking the things them. Not one of you can make me decide, say, me not going to talk my truth. Right? When I tell the people, them don't come here. I mean it. And I will always say it. People are foreign. Especially you returning residents who are elderly. Don't come back here and expect Jamaica to be the same Jamaica that you left because it isn't. And your same relative them will kill you for what they think you have. For what they perceive that you have. Right? And as I keep saying, my grandparents were returning residents and then it's so sickly after they come back from foreign. And them never have they, they didn't have any, any anything but the pension and they were so sick. The pension done in the medication. My grandmother have lymphoma, my grandfather have prostate cancer. Both of them have hypertension, diabetes, and every damn thing. Every God Almighty thing that could have wrong with them. By the time the little money, the pension come, it done. And uh, I don't even want to jump in too many things right now. I'm just an angry Jamaican mother. I'm just an angry Jamaican mother. And I'm upset. I'm really upset that people stood there. In Ocherius on Christmas morning and watch a lady's baby bleed to death they watch a woman's baby bleed out we have to do better Jamaica Jamaica we have to do better we have to do better than this 
the first step is to identify that we have a problem and when we identify that we have a problem the next thing we need to do is work together to address the problem but please don't be coming i will not tolerate you see for 2019 managa tolerate not denial on my page bond denial leave denial in 2018 I don't want to hear no denial. I don't want to hear nobody come and say, oh, but you need, you need to only focus on the good things. No, because I want better for Jamaica. So don't tell me to focus on the good things. Because listen to me, I have OCD. My parents can't tell you. I'm, I'm, obsess I'm an obsessive compulsive when it comes on to certain things. I am a high achiever. And Jamaica is not achieving right now. And it is not good enough. Right? So don't come on my page and be telling me about, oh, Look at the good things. You always talk about the negative because the negative is in my face every day. It is sucking the energy out of everybody here. That's how we feel. And we need to do something about it. Jamaica, we have a problem. We have a big problem. We know what's the air and done here for it. Aye, but no friends to go home. Them town Jamaica in a big war zone. They want to go back to Jamaica, but my free star. All the things they want to see and want me hear star. Everywhere you turn, I'm going to just pure blood and run. And the gun man, them not behave star. Me want to go back to my country, but my free star. All the things they want to see and want me hear star. Everywhere you turn, I'm going to just pure blood and run. And the gun man, them not behave star. Them a murder people in a broad plain lane. They see man flying down and them kill the same day. Me no feel like no one live back this up. And enough people, me no feel the same way. When me watch the news, peaceful love me high man. Me a fiction and only back and no cry man. And the government really sit down get them dirty criminal and mash up the island. When they talk the truth, them no rate it. A reality so them can debate it. If you continue like this five years from now, Jamaica worse than Haiti. Why you think no people now come back? Cause them free said them are gonna get gunshot. You know much time he book my ticket or reach a airport or turn back. They want to come back and get a